Hey guys, just a quick little update from me. Just wanted to bring this little bit of news to you because it's quite interesting, if you find this kind of stuff interesting. I know I do, which is why I do the videos. But yes, as I said yesterday, these Big Brother videos will soon fizzle out. But Louis Walsh was again on the radio this morning, on Hits Radio, and said something very interesting because yesterday I did a video and someone mentioned, do you think there's a feud between some of the Big Brother housemates? And I think they may be right because Louis Walsh admits on the radio that he will not and has not given his number to David. And because <laughs> he sings too much, right? And that's why he's not giving his number to David. So David has not got Louis Walsh's number, despite what they were putting out there about, oh, there's a WhatsApp group, blah, blah, blah. I don't think Louis has joined the WhatsApp group, and I don't think David is ever going to get Louis's number. I loved it when David said to you that he's going to send you voice notes, and you told him, well, he's no, not. because you don't like voice notes. I don't, and he doesn't have my number. You didn't give him your number? No, I didn't give him. Why not? Even now? He sings too much. <laughs> he sings too much. Really? He's a nice guy. I'm going to get your number somehow. Please, can I send you voice notes? Because I love a voice note. You can, and I'll send them back to you. Yeah! Aww. Now, in an ironic twist, Louis did reveal who he gave his number to. Now, he said, I didn't give David my number. He sings too much. I think it's deeper than that. I think it's not just the singing that Louis finds annoying with David. I just think their personalities clash. Because he reveals he gives his number to Marisha, who he said, yeah, she sings and I like it. I'm like, well, you just said he didn't give your number to David because he sang, but never mind. He's Louis Walsh. And he also gave his number to Lauren. What I find interesting here is Louis saying, yeah, Marisha sings, she's got a wonderful voice. Did you hear her singing on the program? I don't think you did. No, no, Louis, we did, trust me. I sat through hours of Marisha singing. If you watch my live stream videos, you'll know that Marisha and the guys were putting together Big Brother the Musical, and Marisha was the principal vocalist for that, so we heard her voice a lot. It's a very nice voice, but I heard a lot of Marisha. I gave my number to Lauren. Oh, and I loved Misha. Misha? 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 Yeah, Misha. I loved her singing. You didn't hear her singing. She's an amazing artist. Yeah, mm. I saw her at the really Olivier Awards good, last year. She's a great girl. Yeah, she's a really good Love girl. Her. I'm not sure if any other Big Brother housemates will be doing interviews now. Louis Walsh's interviews, that's the fourth one I've heard, and very much covering the same ground again and again, which is getting rather dull to listen to. I appreciate not everyone follows all the interviews, but it's just, you get what I'm saying. Once again, no mention of Ekin Su. Now, I'm not bringing that up because, oh, I dislike Ekin Su. I really don't dislike Ekin Su. I just think that was the biggest drama, or one of the biggest dramas to come out of the series, and I find it strange that no one's mentioning it at all, which suggests to me that perhaps there was a embargo of some sort on that. Apart from Louis mentioning it to the Sun very briefly, I feel like after that they were all told, don't mention it. I, 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 and I think that's a shame. It'd just be nice to talk about it, because, you know, these days people love to talk about mental health and what's good for your mental health, and now that it's not mentioning anything. It's like it never happened, which it blatantly did, and was, for most people, the highlight of the entire season, because it brought that drama that people like so much. But there we go. It is what it is. So like I said, I don't think there'll be many more interviews now. The interview we all want to hear, of course, is Ekin Su herself coming forward, doing a video, talking about her time on the show. I think that'd be great. I'd love to hear from her. I wish she would, but maybe she's got something in the offing and she's waiting for the right time and the right paycheck to do it. Now, just quickly a little word about ratings, because this is quite interesting if you like this kind of stuff. I know some people don't because they're not as perhaps nerdy as I am when it comes to these ratings business, but there were two reality shows that launched last night. Loaded in Paradise, back for another series and Josh Must Win. Josh Must Win was on E4, Loaded in Paradise was on ITV2. These are basically in the Celebrity Big Brother time slot. Now the ratings are good for perhaps these channels, but it's interesting how we talk about Big Brother slipping in the ratings, yet we look at these ratings and think, huh, I see why people think these ratings are good, because Josh Must Win got like 197,000 viewers, Loaded in Paradise gets 128,000 viewers. Now, Late and Live was getting 230 to 300,000 viewers, so considerably more than both of these shows. And Big Brother itself on ITV1, which would get more viewers anyway because it's ITV1, was drawing in about 1.7 million. So it gives you an idea of where TV ratings are these days and what's considered a hit and what isn't. Even Love Island All Stars, which was in the slot on ITV2 that these shows are on, um, was pulling in a lot more than both of these shows. I know there's the Love Island reputation there, but again, it goes to show that Love Island All-Stars hitting a million on ITV2 is quite good when you consider the kind of ratings that ITV 
two probably averages. So there you go. I hope you're interested in this, and if you're not interested in this, then you really should have stopped watching the video much earlier on.